We linger on Lakshmana's name, mainly because without her, we can imagine that none of this game would have happened. She's the catalyst for everything that Karat is currently going through. I love this monkey. Just sitting there like a little human. And then they go kill my monkey friend. If you want me to see these guys as the villains, that's one way to do it. There's our handsome pagan. And at 48, he's looking great. I hate when things get out of control. And guess who it is? Our man Troy Baker. I don't know if he's got a tell, or I've heard him so many times I could pick him out, but I instantly recognized it as him on that line. Troy Baker is 100% always a win, no matter what. I hate when things get out of control. Hey there everyone, hope you're well. Editor Sean here to host our first ever Are You A Dictator? We've surveyed the internet to find core qualities of dictators from history and present day. Pagan Min is our subject today. Let's see how many qualities our contestant gaming wins Cameron can find. Cam, time's on the clock. You've got five seconds to name as many qualities that pagan and dictators share. Ready? Go! Um, DD control, uh, extreme violence, and uh, consolidating power. Let's see what the survey says. A great start, but there's more to go. We'll be right back, folks, after a few wins. Shepard, you couldn't do that! Don't know if this says something about me or if modernity has just made me jaded, but I felt more for that little monkey than this buffoon. Not a win? How about a meme in honor of our dead friend? The buffoon, not the monkey. Hey, get what you deserve! And I got blood on my fing shoes. My reaction when I step in dog shit. I recognize those eyes anywhere. Oh, I know he just murdered a dude, but you can't take away his honest love for Ishwari. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Apologies, and a start to a new beautiful family. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? As someone with an undercut, I gotta appreciate one when I see it well done. Strong silent type. I like it. You'll notice throughout the entire game, Pagan is constantly complimenting AJ and never being directly aggressive to him. Pagan just wants to protect what's left of his family because we all know Pagan was gonna be stepdaddy. Would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little... Sure. It's not a great first impression for someone like us and AJ, people living in civilized peace. But for Pagan, the Royal Army, and the Golden Path, this murder and picture is just another Tuesday. I guess what I'm saying is, after playing the game and coming back to this scene, eh? I don't see Stepdaddy punishing this guy that tried to kill me and getting pictures with his long lost son as a truly reprehensible thing to do. In the context of Karat. Speaking of context, I had none going into Far Cry 4, so who else was excited with the prospect of being able to work with the bad guy for the entire game? And to Ubisoft's credit, they always intro their villains for Far Cry perfectly. And also from the music and Pagan's charisma, I was expecting a light-hearted jaunt through the mountains with my dad. It's not what we got because moral ambiguity seems to be what Far Cry is all about, but come on. Give us more silly stuff like Blood Dragon. The formula's tired now, just go crazy and zany. Far Cry's perfect for that. I can't believe I'm wanting another Far Cry because of one line, a licensed song, and some pretty colors over our logo. The song's directly talking about staying with Pagan for Din Din or leaving because a little torture is scary. Well, you give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I love little lines like these that mean nothing unless you dig deeper in notes and such. Ashley is Paul's daughter and a site of envy for Pagan whom is trying to get some family back through AJ. Your little corner of Kirati is rather beautiful. I expected more. You know, chains and wailing, but knowing you somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. I like that little line as you can apply it to his corner of the US where his family lies. A beautiful family that knows nothing of his torturous work in Kirat. Dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplume. Ironic that the torturer doesn't have a good poker face. Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. See how hospitable Pagan is? Did the Golden Path lie out Crab Ragoon for AJ? I think not! Pagan has only his left ear pierced. I hesitate to constitute as a win out of fear of being cancelled, but here you go. For a long time, getting only your left ear pierced had people believe you to be flamboyant. Which, for Pagan, is exactly the angle he loves to play up. I mean, dyed hair, magenta suit, expensive shoes, and I'll say this, Pagan's your style. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. Welcome back to Are You A Dictator? Last we left off, Cam had gotten three right. Let's see what his next guess will be. You're up. Time's on the clock. 
um, and inflated ego, preying upon a struggling nation and using military power to keep control. Another winner here, folks. Don't you worry. We are fair game, so stay tuned for the golden path to be in the hot seat. That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Would you look at that? Our fearless dictator having doubts about his position. I'm imagining after Lakshmana was killed, he's been second-guessing ruling Karat. And now that AJ is here, he could just live a normal life. Understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. But fuck is Pagan two steps forward, one step back. Guess in his mind this is the last time he'll ever get a taste of that good good, you know? When your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized it's not me. No. It was the f golden path. Pagan would be good at YouTube apologies. Shift blame every second you get. See it. Something tells me that was improvised by Troy Baker. It's the cute stuff like this that gives our villain personality and makes us love him more. Unlike a certain bland mustache twirling Castillo. Really guys, we're not checking for these anymore? A valid point. And through Pagan doing this, Ubisoft sidesteps all the comments about Why didn't they pat down Darpan? You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. You're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on. Cry for help. <laughs> Pagan showing some more of his fatherly qualities. Tough loves a bitch. Help from your diaphragm! Help! Pagan would be great at teaching choir. Terrorists, right? This is the crux of what I love about Far Cry 4. All three remain characters, that being Sabal, Amida, and Pagan, each believe themselves to be the hero of their own story. All of them do terrible things, and not one of them above the other. But may I be so bold to say, at the very least, Pagan would have been the most likely to save Karat from itself. I mean, hell, the man was trying to broker peace with the Golden Path after Lakshmana was born, and he just seems like a fun guy to hang out with. Is that another win for Pagan? That's another win for Pagan. Oh, man, bloody fantastic. You, sir, are a gentleman. I sincerely apologize. And he actually came back and apologized. Again! Ignorance is bliss, my friends. The Crab Rangoon, right? It's... <laughs> Fabulous. Mm. Troy Baker's a gem. Well, come on, let's go. Aw, the speed at which AJ moves is like when you tell your kid to follow you to the candy store. Peggy even says it like he's talking to a child. The ashes aren't going to scatter themselves. What's up with these stories of scattering mother's ashes to start the entire plot of a game? Lakshmana shouldn't be alone anymore. And Pagan really did love Lakshmana and Ishwari. It wasn't an act. He built this shrine for them. And wants to hand Karat to its rightful owner. Some fun trivia about why her name is Lakshmana. Lakshmana is one of the name of Krishna's wives. Krishna is the god of compassion, tenderness, love, and protection. Instead of being Pagan's wife, she's his daughter. And Lakshmana brought all of those mentioned traits out of Pagan. You feel better now? Get it out of your system? Good. Maybe now we can finally shoot some goddamn guns. Ah, uh, such a wholesome ending. Pagan and AJ coming together after so long to do some father and son shooting. It may have been the shortest Far Cry ever, but you can't say they didn't make a brilliant short. I would have loved an entire game about Pagan and the Golden Path, and what would have happened if AJ got stuck between the last technical family he had left and people who are oppressed, and get to see what AJ would do. But alas, we may never know. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget, drive the speed limit, drink some water, and love one another. Pizza. Okay, fine, I'll talk about the rest of the game, but let it be known that this secret ending is the proper Far Cry 4 experience. It's not a Far Cry game unless you escape the bad guy's compound, right? <laughs> AJ's a monster of a man to survive that crash with no seatbelt on. Look, no hard feelings about the crab rangoon. I know it's not to everyone's taste, but you'll be pleased to know I had the chef executed for his incompetence. Or was it his family we killed? Pagan is 100% the handsome Jack of Far Cry, always checking up on us, casually writing off the horrible things he's done. You're a tough man to kill, brother. Sabal would be great at gaming wins. Jesus, with eyes that green, you'd be forgetting if you thought she was the Hulk. Is there anything I can do? I'm not a soldier, but I want to help. I mean, sure. sure. Ubisoft in this game is like me when starting DoD campaigns. Just get the ball rolling as quickly as possible. Hey. Badra, how are you? Oh, AJ would have been a good big brother. Am I winning common decency? Absolutely, it's rare to find these days. Eternal Matara is a living goddess, if you believe Sabal. It's no life for a child, being treated as an object. Not so subtle foreshadowing of Amita's stance. You know, towers revealing the map have become infamously ubiquitous. 
I still kind of like them, so... I love the continued symbolism for the skill trees like in Far Cry 3. The tiger having all the offensive skills and the elephant the defensive. The tiger is representative of Amida, who's aggressive and destruction of tradition. And the elephant of Sabal, who is passive and wants to preserve tradition. AJ has the choice between these two and is able to walk both paths. Well, the meek shall inherit the earth, my friend. All they need are some good guns. I don't think that's exactly what they meant. Longinus in certain Christian communions believes that he was the soldier that pierced Jesus' side with a lance and that he was converted to Christianity after morally questionable acts. We find out in Far Cry 6 that Far Cry Longinus did business with McKay, so it all kind of lines up. What gun would Jesus choose? This man took the phrase, what would Jesus do, to a whole nother level. Revelation 19.11 The discretion of a man deferreth his anger. Huh, that's actually a line from Revelation 19.11 as he holds a 1911. Humans will always go great lengths to create connections that might not be there. I've seen the rapture and so- AJ looks up expecting to see something. A soldier always knows, for we have seen the rapture. That's a really interesting way of seeing it. I've got two interpretations of his belief here. The first being that a soldier being chosen for war wasn't one who was raptured, but is one that now must face the great tribulation. Or that we are in the great tribulation now and being a soldier is the rapture. Being forced to meet God at the end of a barrel and you either survive to tell about it or you don't. There are lots of people who speak of finding God after surviving battle and war. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too hard about an arms dealer in a Far Cry game? But it's fun to think about his relationship with Christianity seriously instead of just writing it off as a fun joke. You need guns to do righteous work, AJ. For every gun is a Bible. For every bullet, a sermon. And upon hearing that line, his interpretation of the Bible, I feel, borders on the line of fanaticism. Which would explain why Sabal sends you up to work with him, as we learn, if we help Sabal, that he is a zealot himself, murdering those that don't follow his ways. And for every radio tower that you free from pagans' lies, I will give you something. That's a much better reason for giving us free guns for radio towers than Far Cry 3. My little family but the Kirat. It wasn't always like this. I long for those days, but then it's too late. I tried, I really, really did, but this place is ruinous. Try not to let them drag you down, Andre. Pagan realizes what he's doing is wrong, and recognizes the Golden Path isn't any better. And after losing Lakshmana is when he fully embraces his ruthless side. But the most important thing said here is, don't let them drag you down with them. Some foreshadowing that's hidden as bad guys saying things that has no merit. In the end, we're caught in a love triangle fanaticism. One for religion, one for progress at any cost, and the last one being subjugation. I didn't enjoy this game my first time through, but now that I'm looking deeper, I'm loving this. Try not to let them drag you down, Andre. Dishwari didn't send you back here for that. Manipulation! We hit Paul's house, he slaughters a village. This isn't on Ajay, it's on me. Taking accountability. Helping the Golden Path will take you to Lakshmana. I promise you that. You think the Golden Path was safe from this family-friendly game? Think again. Cam, you know the question. Oh, manipulation. Again. And there you have it, folks. A double winner, chicken dinner. Don't you see, Ajay? There was a plan. I had a goddamn plan! Meanwhile, the enemy soldiers in that outpost will have plenty of time to dig in. I can do this, Amita. Ajay, don't! If only AJ did that more often. Ajay, Ajay, Ajay! Uh, yes? Awesome. Oh, just making sure you've been listening. Perfect. Your mother knew exactly what would happen once you showed up here in Girat. The son of Mohan Gale returning to the war-torn land of his birth. <laughs> Stand with us, Ajay. Join the Golden Path, and I promise you, you will fulfill your mother's dying wish. Manipulation! Oh, baby, a triple! Did my parents really start the Golden Path? They did. Their goal was to free Kirat from Pagan's regime. <laughs> Why you always lying? Uh, the Kirat were in a civil war once before Pagan showed up, and a second time before Pagan showed up. And when he did arrive, he just chose a side. So it's a half truth. But the meme is funnier, so. Why you always lying? Okay, let's roll, Golden Path, homie! Woo! Okay, then. AJ speaking for the entire player base. And your choices will carry weight. 
We need someone to break the stalemate between Amita and Sabal. I like the option to choose who you support. By the end, both sides really make you wish you didn't have to choose because they're both awful. The dictator of Turkmenistan can get J-Lo to sing him happy birthday, then who's to say I can't get my fading star of yesteryear? See how much Kanye is going for. These checkups are the best. The right choice was obvious! It's what your father would have done. Both Amita and Sabal take after AJ's parents respectively of their genders, and both use that parent as a tool to manipulate AJ. Oh shit. Oh! Om Nam Shiva. What? Why does he want us to get out? I don't know, ask him. You ask him. Hey, I'm right here. Oh, he's right here. Good for him, he knows where he is. <laughs> a joke that, for people that have taken psychedelics, is hilarious. A little meat and green. You being the meat. Well, we tried the carrot. Guess he wants a stick then. <laughs> hey. I love a good pun or two. He abandoned his people <sighs> to live in the decadence of America. Far Cry games really seem to not like the USA. Far Cry 3 has only subtle jabs like Dennis in the car shop. 4 mentions AJ growing up in America as a bad thing all the time. 5, well 5 isn't subtle at all with his empty critique on religious North American fanaticism. And everyone in Yara chastises Danny for wanting to go to the US. I guess this is a win for consistency? I don't know, just something I've noticed playing through these titles. Take it easy on Reggie and Yumi. They're being played, just like you and I. Ain't that the truth. Still alive, shitbags! <laughs> Not what I was expecting coming back to this house. I know you're angry with Donald, but what- What does he think a wooden box is gonna do? Like you! And we can't go back to India after that incident with the cow. Cows are right. Houses. This has the same energy as I once brought a jackass and a honeycomb into a brothel. Silence! Fighting with your tackle, flip flopping around. Yeah. Oh, we're very impressed. With his tackle? With his fighting tit, he was very gladiator. I would say more 300. God, I love these two. So it's like Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> Schrodinger's guy <car>, rat. <laughs> Just give me a DLC with these two, come on. The art design behind Shangri La is absolutely stunning. When Far Cry gets mystical and or silly, it is when I feel it shines. It's like the higher-ups won't let them go crazy. Maybe that's what New Dawn is. I don't know. Haven't played it. Should I cover New Dawn? <laughs> so Kalanag and the Sky Tiger could be in reference to any of the characters of Far Cry, but my interpretation is that Kalanag is a stand-in for AJ and the Tiger being a meet at Sir Ball, as the Tiger only saves him to gain an ally, not because they care for him. I don't know, but it's fucking weird. <laughs> God, I love their reactions. They don't know, but they know, you know? And what do we need to fulfill our purpose? Hey, guns, AJ! I'm real surprised you didn't see him as they're one and the same. What do you say? Amen. <laughs> He's catching on. The mines have been stripped, the fields have been ruined for years. So we liberate our people, then what? It's not our way, it never was. You do this, you're no better than pagan. Now that's a choice. If you're a karate native. But AJ grew up removed from karate. But still, a choice that holds a lot more weight versus go get intel or save an outpost. I know this isn't the way things should be, but Kirat can't survive if Sabal keeps clinging to the past. And that's why I chose to go with Amita. Sure, you can keep your moral high ground, but how long can you stand there when you and all your people are starving because you got no money? We can worry and fix our religious beliefs whenever we satiate our basic needs as a country. Food, water, shelter. I know some believe it better to die than bend from your faith, but for me, better to bend than break. Supplies, weapons, ammunition, vehicles, everything the Golden Path needs to take the fight to pagan men. You can't fight a war without those, so it's a position to be put in, but I love the game for it. Banapur, all I saw was Sabal and his puppet, but you are not a puppet, are you? Uh, he's your puppet now. You ready to play? Are you a dictator again? If you can name the trait that Amita is displaying here, we'll give you 10 wins. Um, gaslighting. Correct. That seems to be all the time we have for Are You a Dictator? Hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget, I'm your host, Sean, and you're all beautiful. Something I found funny and always loved about Far Cry is its stealth. It's not super complex, but I really enjoy it. But what's funny is that Ubisoft makes an assassin game, and their boom boom shoot games have better stealth mechanics than that. Hi, Ashley. You did? That is amazing. <laughs> Good girl. Are you getting ready for bed? Oh, no. He has a family, too, that he loves. Whoa, whatever will I do? I'm going to stab. I'm going to stab the fuck out of him. We all got people we love, but I don't torture people as a nine to five. 
I apologize for that. Daughter. At least his cardio is like pagan. You were here on time, and I was not ready. No disrespect intended. <laughs> the only word you could see on Paul Shirk's ego, which he's got a shit ton of them. You should go hang out with Yogi and Reggie. You? He's surprised for sure, because Pagan probably told a lot of people not to harm AJ in hopes that he could still court him to his side. And also, that's pretty funny. My cell phone! Get off me, you monkey fuckers! This is a good thing you've done here. We'll take care of Paul. Come on, Pits. Raising a sweet daughter absolves you of nothing. Yeah. It's not Far Cry without a drug trip. Marrying little girls, is that it? Is that your big plan for Badra? Oh, go for it. Go ahead, show AJ what kind of man you are. AJ's probably standing there like... AJ Gale! Yeah? Yeah, Willis is back. You can find that out after you help me land my bird at the airport. And why would I want to do that? You're in this to fight the good fight and shoot bad guys, not play 20 questions. Even Willis knows what's up with AJ. I've had enough of this. Are you familiar with Reaganomics? Not even subtle about it. You're the perfect wolf in sheep herder's clothing. Way better than the SoCal douchebag at the babysit at my last stop. Is he talking about Jason? He's got to be talking about Jason. You're both patriots, though. Both the type that'll put your hand over your gosh darn heart when you hear the Star Spangled Banner at a Fourth of July ball game. <laughs> Callback. You're gonna need this. Ah, Willis gives us our wingsuit in three, two. Would have loved Willis to be a recurring character that gives us a wingsuit. Little set pieces like this is what I live for in Far Cry. That is an amazing throw. Maybe he was inspired by Willis talking about American ball games. You excuse me, I gotta hit the crapper. Pardon my French. Jesus Christ, it's just a freaking hole in the ground. It's like Willis has to let people know all his awful comments or he'll die. Hold on to that. I just drank a bucket of coffee, I'm gonna need it soon. Man, Willis calls himself a true American but drinks vodka? Shame. This is fun. You left the bag on his head? Well, can he breathe? Do you at least punch holes so he doesn't suffocate? Pagan's worried about his little boy. Hello. Finally, it's been too long since we've seen you. But let me ease him into this humor. You're about to mind f the poor boy. So I'm guessing they're drugging us to help AJ see the truth of the situation? I mean, I'm all for psychedelics being used properly because they can be life changing, but this ain't the best way to go about it. At least he's trying to help. AJ. Uh-uh. I will always love when a game strips us of all our toys and forces us to think resourcefully to get through. Some Yeti DLC shadowing. I've been watching you for three days, but you're awake now and you seem okay. Amita may be using us for what we could do for her, but she seems to truly care, at least a little bit. You could argue that she's playing the long game to keep us on her side, but she waited by her side to make sure we were okay before getting back to war duties, which I feel speaks volumes. This is definitely not intentional, but I'm still going to write this off as a reference to the Red Dead Redemption mission. Last open some gates like this because I can. And look at you. A lovely couple to match a lovely home. This is an awesome reference to the opening yes. scene of Inglorious Bastards. Troy Baker even said his performance was inspired by Hans Landa. A funny story about how Troy got the role. When he was auditioning, a casting assistant walked into the room and in character, Troy threatened to murder her, I'm sure with flying pagan colors. What I'd give to see that tape. You know, I was told that if I ever wanted to experience the hospitality of Utkash, then I had to visit the Ramas. Keeping in line with the reference, Pagan is speaking kindly, but his reputation precedes him, so we're all just biting our nails, waiting for the hammer to fall. And I'm concerned that these people, these terrorists, well, they might take advantage of your hospitality. I mean, come on, do you need any more evidence of the reference? God, I love that movie. In this game, when it's firing on all cylinders. And by all cylinders, I mean Troy's Pagan takes up like five of the six. But Ubisoft kindly flips the script on us, having the people upstairs die instead of us. I just killed you! No, no, you just ruined a perfectly good body double with hair loss. And to keep our handsome Jack analog going, there you go. I suppose next time it'll just be you. And me. See what I mean? Pagan never lies. Before your horrible mother came along, he was, he was fearless. fearless. Nobody could stand up to him. I don't know if it's irony or a parallel, but Pagan was just talking about don't fight change and yada yada. And now we got his army commander all hot and bothered because Pagan changed for Ishwari. 
He was broken. Weak. If love makes you weak, I'd gladly look like SpongeBob right here. No toys in bed. My first time through this sequence, I was so confused. But then I realized this little trip in AJ in bed here is analogous with Pagan and Ishwari being disarmed and then attacked while he's weakest. Time to kill you and mix your mother's asses in pink blood. <laughs> Yuma transforms into Kalanag as she believes to be the savior of Karat, and through killing AJ, Pagan, the bloody ally, will come back to her side. But her belief of herself to be Kalanag is construed as she uses the Rakshasa to assist her, showing her true nature. And I wish the Hallucination Bow boss fight was a series staple as well. We kill Yuma very similarly as Vas. Call it lazy and uninspired, but I say it's a callback. If you have any unfinished business left, I suggest you take care of it. Kirat will need your undivided attention for this final push. AKA, you accept the final mission, you're in for a minute. I went on live television to serve her up to you, and I love television. See? Daddy's willing to do things he hates for his son. Sure, he wanted Yuma dead too, but let's just ignore the stuff that weakens our argument like everyone in this game. Fashion was solid gold, literally, and not being metaphorical. He's talking literally, not metaphorically. I'm sorry, I just love that special so much. To whom am I speaking? The son who returned to scatter his mother's ashes, or the lunatic who has murdered his way to the top of my mountain? Far Cry, of all games, are the one of the few to address ludonarrative dissonance. I stood just like this. Ah, I caught Pagan's first lie. He was actually on AJ's right at the start. Stay here, enjoy the Crab Rangoon, don't move, I'll be right back. Now, if you had just listened, just waited for me, then we would have come back here straight away, together and scattered your mother's ashes. <laughs> this probably was the line that got people thinking to stay put at the start. Decided instead to join the other monkeys and start throwing his shit around. Does it still count as a callback if you're calling yourself back? But I'll tell you what. Uh, Thanos can do it, so can Pagan. Who did you kill? Hmm? Is it Amita? Sabal? Doesn't really matter. You trying to tell us something, Ubisoft? You do realize that you're just giving away your country. Right? It's yours. It's always been yours. Kirat is yours. I pulled you off the bus in the first place to pass it on to you. I'm still upset we didn't get to join Pagan DLC, but that's just a win for how awesome he is. You're halfway there. One down, one to go. Not that I want to put ideas in your head. <laughs> Why is everything this guy says brilliant? And don't forget your mother. God damn, does Jay just boof her? Well, I suppose you could do what I did after Mohan killed Lakshmana. Now there's a bomb you'd never know if you killed Pagan. Like I've been saying, Pagan's awful, but at least he gives it to you straight. I've given you Kirat, but I'm keeping the helicopter. Eh, I'd say it's a fair deal, but I mean, don't leave. This is a weird title to end with Finn. If it was Pagan silly all the time, then I'd get it. Oh well, someone had the gall to do it, so here we are. Far Cry 4, what'd you think it? Not as great as 3 as a complete package, but villains? I think I like Pagan more than Voss. And hey, at least 4 didn't have you going after some random boogeyman behind the curtain like Hoyt. I really enjoyed this game, all in all. Don't forget, drive the speed limit, drink some water, and love one another. Pizza.